Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to ask you a question. Why do you celebrate? What is the purpose? What is your reason for the season? What are your aims, your aspirations? What do you care to fulfill during this time of the year? You know why I ask you that? Because a lot of people lose sight of what this is all about. Whether the birth of Jesus took place in September or blah, 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 whatever. The point is, he was born. He came to die that we might go to him and live. You know, you can spend your money at the store 24-7, shopping for every bargain you can get. But the greatest gift you can give is the gift of love. Don't buy each other presents just to say, I gave a present. That's not what it's about. Don't buy somebody something to impress them. That show ain't what it's all about. Do you hear me? Listen. You want to give somebody a gift, find out what they need. And don't wait until Christmas to do so. Now, I have a friend named Pat. <laughs> We've been best friends since, ah, uh, let's see, 1981. And do you know that Pat, with her crazy self, last year, year before last, gave me a car, gave it to me. Now, there are a lot of people who don't even think to do that. Rolling in dough. They go and trade their car in and get the best deal they can get, knowing they can afford the payments. While there's somebody right there under their nose that doesn't have transportation. She didn't know that to me. She lives, <clears throat> excuse me, still getting over this cold. She lives about 70 some miles from me. And yet, she thought about me. Now, who are you thinking of? While you're sitting around here filling out a Christmas lift, list, excuse me, do you know that instead of spending three or four hundred dollars on a bunch of trivial gifts, you could pay that lady across the street, pay her light bill? You can take somebody grocery shopping. You want to give Jesus a gift for his birthday. That's what I'm talking about. Not buying a whole bunch of presents so you can check yourself off and say, Hey, I, look what a wonderful person I am. Have you asked God what you should give somebody lately? Have you asked the question? What about the widows in your church? Hmm, never thought of that, did you? What about the, the lonely old man that lives across the street whose wife died 10 years ago and he's marking time? Have you thought of getting his porch fixed and paying for it? Because you got the money. No, you're taking care of me and mine and me and my four and no more. No, I'm going to buy my little grandkids 50 uh, Christmas presents. I want the tree loaded. You know, each grandkid doesn't need any more than one gift each. That's all. And use all the rest of that money where it's truly needed, you guys. God is impressed when you remember the poor, the widows, the orphans. The sick, the stranger, the homeless, come on, think about it. When you <clears throat> get rid of this cold in a minute, y'all, but when you think of someone else's need, do you realize when you act to fulfill that need, to do what's in your power to do? And all of us fall short. All of us do. 
But do you know how much it means to God when you feel the need of someone who has no one to fill their needs with, who has no one thinking of them? Because they have no family. You're loaded with family. Your, your joy is in the fellowship of the get-together. Or they have no one to be with. Have you thought to do something for them? To invite them over to join your family? Have you thought to do that? Ask God to open your eyes to the needs. And I'm not talking about giving to charity. There are probably multiple needs right there on your block. Some may be in your family. Some may be in your church, at your workplace. Think of the reason for the season. Okay? God bless you.